Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Sucker 25 and today I got a brand new action figure review for you guys on the Marvel Legends Amazing Fantasy New Spider-Man. Um, this is, I think, one of his like first appearances. This is also one of the first couple figures that have been released in the new windowless packaging so we'll do a quick little look at it normally i don't show the packaging um just because like sometimes it has reflections and glares and i don't really like that and uh most of the time i just pitch it and throw it away but you know this is a new thing and i don't know if anyone's actually saving these packagings i don't think it looks horrible but i'm not like you know the biggest fan of the new windowless stuff because you can't see if you're buying the stuff in store you can't see what like it looks like what you're purchasing so, like, that's really kind of a bummer, and uh, you don't know if everything is all there, and um, that sucks. So, this figure I picked up at Target. It was in stock. I picked it up with the uh, Moltres and Lugia figures that I previously reviewed on the channel. Don't know if this is coming out before or after both of those two, but it might come out in between. And, um, yeah, I, I did the, the 50, you know, spend 50 or over 50, save 10 bucks. I spent, like, about 60 bucks. Got this guy. Um... And, uh, yeah, I really like them. I had them pre-ordered before. I canceled them because I had a ton of, like, you know, I had, you know, everyone's got money issues sometimes, but I canceled them. Didn't think I needed them. Saw them on Target available. He was, like, $26.99, which kind of sucks that he's that much money for this, you know, figure. Um, but, you know, I guess that's just what Marvel Legends have moved into. Uh, hopefully some of these start clearancing at some point, but it's Spider-Man, so it probably won't. So, for $26.00. What do you get? Well, it's all right here. You get a couple sets of hands. You get a set of fists, set of open hands, set of whipping hands, um, and then you get a set of the like open hands as well, like openish hands, like open fist. Um, so, really quick, I'll show you them all. Here you go. Here is the. Let me see if I can get the focus. Here's the open fisted hands, probably for holding like the web effects and other things, which is awesome. We don't really get these with Spider-Man too often. So getting those is pretty cool, pretty sick. Uh, you get the open, flared out hands for wall crawling, stuff like that. You get the you get the thwips, which is nice, pretty cool. And then you get the fisted hands, which are on him. So there you go, you get all those. Then you get these set of like, you know, like crumpled up, like closed, uh, web things like the web glider things that go in between his arms like the little spider web glider things that he gets um, don't really know the proper name of them uh, and then you get like the extended out ones for like if he's jumping and stuff and then last but not least you do get this like you know web thwip effect um, because of the packaging mine is stuck like this I'll probably have to heat it up and mold it to whatever way I want to form it that way but yeah um, so far, this figure is pretty cool. I know Marvel Legends uh, Toy Biz released one of these a long time ago that looked like this, like one of the first appearance of Spider-Man. They had like two versions. They had like the black and red version, and then they had the, um, oh, what's it called? They had the, the red and blue versions that they did. I think I have both. The red and blue is, I think, the variant. I think I have both. I'm not getting them out. They're in storage. I'm not digging those out for this review. But, if you are curious, you could always look up whatever wave they're from. I don't remember the wave exactly, because it's been so long. But yeah, this figure's pretty sick. The sculpt is, I think, mostly all new for this Spider-Man, because it is different than the retro and renew your vows wave Spider-Man. Um, but yeah, I like it. This, I think, same mold is the one that's going to be used in the uh, Spider-Man and his Amazing Friends 3-pack with... Um, uh, Iceman and Firestar, which is just this, but in the blue instead of the black. And then it also is going to be used for the animated Spider-Man, I think. I think they're all the same. So, articulation-wise on this guy, you do get arms only up that much. I wish they could go a little bit higher. I feel like that's not a full, you know, T. I don't like that. Um, bicep can only go forward that much. And then you get the uh, the back, or no, the, the butterfly, not bicep. Butterfly could go back that much. I don't know if this figure would benefit from, like, the Vulcan body mold, where you could, like, pop this out and, like, cut the peg. I don't know if it's a really long peg. Uh, I did see in um, the Fuchs video that he talked about 
that uh, Robo said that you, <laughs> if you do that, sometimes the shoulders start popping out because you lose the stability here because it comes into the body and like kind of plugs in a slot to hold it. Um, so I don't know if you want to do that, uh, but if you do, you can maybe try it, see if it gives you any more motion up there in the bicep or in the uh, butterfly bicep joint. Nice as always. Double jointed pinless elbows, which is very nice to see on Spider Man now. So now you got the nice red, you know, the red web lines out here. And then on the inside, you got the nice black. And then a little peg hole right there for the web glider effects. I'm probably not going to use those. I don't really like those that much. And then the wrists do all swivel and hinge. I think they're all horizontal hinges. Uh, yeah, horizontal. I don't think there's any verticals in there. Uh, head could look up that far, which is nice for your wall crawling. Look down that much, which is good. You get a little bit of tilt, not very much. Do a full 360 on the head. It is just the um, the ball and disc, which I honestly kind of prefer sometimes. I know some people like the dumbbell, uh, but I don't really like it. Um, could get that much tilt to the sides, tilt that much back, uh, that much forward on just the diaphragm. Very limited on the diaphragm. Might be scuffing the paint, don't really know. But with the ab crunch, you go back that far and then um, you get uh, that far forward, which is pretty good. Um, no waist cut. I don't know why they can't like somehow work a waist cut down in there too. Like I feel like they could probably, but I don't know. Legs go up that far, which is pretty good for a Spider-Man, but not really that far back, only that far. So eh, is what it is. You do a trade-off. Um, you do, let's see, get, let's see Spidey on the splits. Could do a little bit better. I feel like it's Spider-Man. Um, upper thigh cut, very stiff on mine, but it is there, it does work. Double jointed pinless knees as well. Um, you only get that much on those. Do you get the upper boot cut, which is all right, works. Uh, and then you do get the ankles that go back that far forward that much no toe articulation now i have been seeing some people since i believe there's this like very similar in the red department um uh, i have been seeing some people switch out the um renew your vows spider-man since they're very close in the same red basically if not the same red um and they switch out the feet on the renew your vows and put them on the uh the amazing fantasy and then they get toe articulation since the renew your vows has toe articulation and amazing fantasy does not so then you could get both they're basically very close to the same feet he's just a little bit more pointy over here so you could do that if you wanted to buy another uh another renew your vows set and maybe sell off the spinneret or just you know modify the spider-man a little bit maybe change the head out um could put that head on this body or something like that put those feet on this one and then you get a uh Amazing Fantasy with toe articulation, which might be pretty good, and you might like that. So I've honestly thought about it. If I could ever get the Renew Your Vows set for cheap, I would love to do that. Get, like, almost two more. Put one on Retro, so Retro has toe joints, and then put one on um, uh, uh, the Amazing Fantasy here. So, but, oh well, is what it is. Not going to do that. Uh, Height-wise, on our little buddy here. Um, let's get that fixed on the focus. The Amazing Fantasy does stand just above six inches tall, barely above it. So he's a very little guy. But this is probably Spider-Man, and his like really early, like you know, late teen years. So size comparison-wise, here we go. All right, Power Rangers, Star Wars, both Hasbro. There you go. Get them out of here. Spider-Man has been in Fortnite, so let's bring out the, you know, bring out the uh, Pokemon. Pokemon, wow, Jesus, Hasbro, Victory Royale, and they'll bring out the Jazzwares one, so there you go, there's Spidey with them, bring in our G.I. Joe Snake Eyes, who's around the same height as Spidey, so there you go, um, let's banish both of these guys away, and who's next, who's next, uh, I'll bring out our 1000 Toys, Master Chief, so they look pretty good together. Figma Samus. SH Figure Arts Goku. There's your whole little, like, you know, Fortnite squad, even though Samus isn't in Fortnite, unfortunately, because Nintendo's probably mean and doesn't want her in there, but whatever. We'll get her one day. Maybe. <laughs> uh, Jazzware. 
Halo, Master Chief. Are, uh, oh god. Why am I blanking on this one? This is Mezco, Stealth Iron Man. Oh, I don't have a, I don't have a Moffax guy here. Uh, no Moffax for the size comparisons today. Don't got one in hand. I think Batman has made his way to the shelf and kind of retired. Um, here is your Mythic Legion, though, as a replacement. And McFarlane Space Marine. So, there you go. There's all those other size comparisons. Let's take a look at them next to some other Marvel Legends, though. Um, first up, we're going to do a couple other figures that aren't spider -Man. So we'll do Iron Man. This is the AI one from the... Was that the Mr. Hyde way? I don't even remember actually now at this point which wave that was because it's like a year now. Um, and then we got the... Uh, was it 20th anniversary? Is it 20th anniversary that this one was for Captain America? I don't think I reviewed him. Um, if you want to see a review for him, let me know in the comments below. I could do a late one because uh, I think I skipped him. Um, really quick, I'm going to grab from the shelf right next to me, since I got him here, uh, we're going to grab the MCU version of the suit, basically. No web lines painted, because Hasbro hates us. <laughs> but there's like the MCU, basically, counterpart to this suit, I guess you could say. Like, that's kind of what they probably modeled this one off of. Um, but yeah, there you go. There's that one. And then we'll bring out some of the other spider man so here's a Spider-Man villain, since this is the only one I want to bring down off the shelf. Here's Shocker and Spidey. I think these two would combo really well together. I don't know. I, I'm personally not... I don't have the knowledge to know how early of a villain Shocker is for Spider-Man. I don't know if he's like later in the game or early in his younger years. Um, but some other Spider-Man comparisons. Here is the uh, Black Suit Symbiote Spider-Man, which is on the um, retro body. Here is your... Pizza Spider-Man. So, I think this works as a like a good almost like in between. Like you know, this is him starting out. He kind of moves more in line to here, and then this is like his final end up stage, something like that maybe. Because he's like a little taller here, you know, a little bit skinnier here. You know, I don't know. I feel like that would work. Um, here is the one that everyone loves to compare these two now. Is the Renew Your Vows, Spider-Man. This is going to be like, one of these two is in everyone's top ten action figures of the year, most likely. Uh, anyone that collects Marvel Legends, that is, because these two are pretty awesome, pretty great. And, um, yeah, I like I like the blue on this one, even though it's basically the same blue as Retro here. Uh, here's the Retro one. I'm not going to take him off his pose, because he's on the shelf like this. But, as you can see, the reds are different. He's a, a darker red at least it looks like on this one. Um, so there you go. Uh, let's see who else we got. Another one. We got the Iron Spider, which I still need to review this one. I've had this one for a couple weeks now, if not a month. Um, and he will get reviewed at some point. But there you go. There's a nice like little in between. It's like it's a nice progression system that you got here. I wish Iron Spider had a little bit more. I don't think does he even have. Oh, he does have butterflies. I didn't know he had butterflies. I haven't paid attention. Uh, but I like the body that Iron Spider's on. I would love to see this body, because I don't know which one this is. It's not Pizza Spidey. It's kind of new. I'd love to see a similar body to this one be made with a Spider-Man or something like that. That's like a nice, like, okay, this is him in and out of suit. Um, there you go. Now, this is kind of a wish list here. Uh, but we only have a couple Miles Morales in the... Um, Marvel Legends department. We've got the really old Space Venom Wave 1, which is uh, this one, which is very young kid version of Miles. And then we got like the new Gamerverse 1, which is a lot different. That one's in a pose on the shelf. I'm not bringing them down. Um, but I would love to see Miles be made on this body. I think it would work pretty well. You know, I mean, Miles with this Peter is a nice size. Miles with this Peter is a nice size, but I think, I mean, I guess that's a little too close, but a little bit of a grown-up, like, you know, more mature Miles at that point, I think, would probably get close to, like, that tallish, you know? I don't know how tall he is in the comics, but, uh, I think he would look pretty good on this body, I think, but that's just a wish list, but, uh, yeah, so for, like, 26 bucks, um, is this figure worth it? 
uh, I like them. I've, you know, I've had a blast with them so far. I haven't really done a ton, like, not a lot of posing with them, but, um, he's cool. He's nice. I, I, I do like him. I do appreciate him. Um, where is this plug into? Just go in this arm? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really, like, ever use these things in posings. I don't think that's how that's supposed to go. I feel like... I don't know. These things are weird. These things are weird, man. I thought I would just show you what it looked like with him, you know, on him. Um, but I don't... Like I said, I don't ever pose these with him. Um, there's no way that's right. There's no way. I gotta be doing that wrong. But yeah, that's all. I'm not, I'm not gonna mess with that. But yeah, that's... Uh, this guy's cool, though. I like him. Um, let's see if we can do a quick head swap. What it looks like on uh, Mason Fantasy on this body. Um, that looks pretty cool. I actually like that. That one's pretty sick. The head looks a little too big, kind of, for the body. Uh, because there's a little bit of size discrepancy there, but, you know. There's a head swap with them both. Looks a little too big. That one looks a little too small. This one definitely looks small, but, uh, this one looks little big but it also looks cool i kind of like that look of them like that um well yeah there you go for 26 bucks is he worth it uh yeah I, I i think so i've had fun with him so far i think he's pretty nice i think he'll definitely be different um he's a great upgrade over the old uh toy biz one so yeah pretty cool wish we would have had the toe joints other than that pretty great can't wait to get hopefully some more spider men on this body um, so yeah, that's going to do it for me today. Hopefully you found this review helpful, uh, in any way. If you did, would always appreciate a like as well as a subscribe if you know and haven't done so already. It does help me a lot, a lot. I do greatly appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying to get back in the swing of these things. It is October 19th when I'm recording all these reviews. This, Lugia, Moltres, all recorded in the same day. Might even go a couple more just because I haven't recorded in so long. And I kind of had the urge to do it. And uh, I don't really get the window to do it that often. So, so yeah, if you are liking these, would always appreciate the support. Do greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you all in the next video. Uh, one other little thing, I guess since we're coming north towards the end of the month and this is a marvel legend review it's the first one i've done since it's been out we do got the hazlab um i didn't want to do a video on it on itself because i just don't want to join on the negativity i have had the hazlab backed for me as a gift for the future i didn't back it myself um but i would have if i had the means to actually do it uh i just don't right now but i think the hazlab for $350 is very expensive. Um, I think it probably should have been somewhere between $200 and $250 for it. But I still hope it gets backed because I really want Robbie Reyes and I really want the, the Hell Charger or whatever they're calling it. And um, yeah, so that's all I'm going to say about the HasLab. Uh, I don't know if anyone cares about my opinion, but I feel like we'll just chuck it in at the end of a Marvel Legend review. So hopefully it backs. If it doesn't, you know, it doesn't bother me. I am getting Galactus at some point. Whenever he shows up, I'll probably try and review it. He's going to be a monster, so I don't know how or where I'm going to review it at, but I'll try. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's going to do it. We'll um, see you guys in the next review. Marvel Legend-wise, I do got, you know, obviously we're being new revows here. We've got the Spider-Man Noir. I still have the um, Herald of Galactus Thor to review. The Spider-Man, or not Spider-Man, the Iron Man from the Controller Wave. There's a lot of guys. You'll see them. They're coming. I'm going to hit a lot of backlog probably since I'm going to be on the downtime again of no new figures coming in. So, yeah. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and uh, I, will next, I will now truly see you in the next one.